Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, click both of those buttons right now so you never miss out on a daily vlog. That's the whole point of daily vlogging. Recording every single day. We're like on 30 something and uh, posting it here for you guys. So you guys have been able to get to see my life for the past month. And it's been kind of interesting if you ask me. And the whole goal is to get to 365 days straight. And then we'll decide from there. But uh, I want to basically let you guys to know just real quick. Click click both of those buttons. It's, it's pretty appreciated and important as well. But um as many of you guys know, I've been tweeting about this real quick. I've been having the worst tooth pain ever. I got my last wisdom tooth coming in, and I found out if you just dab a little whiskey on the tooth, it gets rid of the pain. It works actually 10 times better than Orogel right here. So as much as I like Orogel, whiskey works 10 times better, plus you can drink it. And whiskey tends to get rid of the pain for everything, except it seems like for a black eye. Which you guys probably have noticed by now. That's probably also the title of this video. Was that I was assaulted last night. And I'm going to tell you guys who it was. How it happened. And why it happened. So uh, I did have a different vlog that I was going to actually upload for today. I had a bunch of footage recorded. But I'm putting that on the back burner. Just due to the fact of the nature of this incident. And who did it. So yesterday was a game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, this is the story of how basically the backstory of everything. Uh, it was game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Winner takes all. You had the St. Louis Blues playing for their first ever Stanley Cup championship. Then you had the Boston Bruins who I think were playing for their 6th or 7th or whatever. So I was cheering for the Blues, you know, because a team deserves it after being in the league for like almost 50-something years and never winning a championship. Like, this is their big opportunity. And they ended up winning the game. I was like, great, this is perfect. Perfect. I want to go out, celebrate, have a couple drinks. So I hit one of my buddies up. I said, yo, let's go out to one of the bars, have a couple of celebratory drinks, whatever, and uh, just have a good time. So we went out to Seaside, to one of the bars, had a couple drinks, and then decided to basically head back home. So we stopped at a local Wawa just to get some Wawa food, which I know um, <laughs> I want to, I'm trying to take the weight loss seriously, but I just, it's Wawa and drinking, it just, it, it, it mixes well. It's a good mix, in my opinion. Uh, we wanted to go in real quick, grab a couple food, uh, a couple things of food. I also wanted to get a gallon of water to help uh, in case I was hungover, which I have to say, gallons of water uh, always come in clutch from Wawa because it's like, I want to say like a dollar ninety nine, which is pretty cheap for a gallon. But on our way in, um, there was somebody coming out. And I was basically like, hey, dude, how you doing? And this person, as soon as they saw me, were very, very pissed off to see me. And I was trying to calm the situation down. The person was getting madder, madder. I'm trying my best to calm this person down. And next thing you know, I got punched in the face. And then they took off running like a little bitch because they know if I had a moment to kind of get my wits back, they were they were going to be dead um, because you just don't hit me and run. And this is what that person did. So, as many of you guys know, I've done some stupid things lately regarding Jake Duffner, which I've all apologized for, and I've agreed, like, some of the things I've done were stupid and all my fault. Um, the person that ended up doing this was upset about what I did to Jake's car and turned out to be his roommate, Sebastian. Uh, also, Jake Duffner's friend. And basically, he confronted me, got mad, that I spray painted his car, which I'm like, I was trying to tell him, I was like, dude, this stuff just washes right off. There's been a couple of days of rain now. Like, that stuff just comes off very, very easily. There was no need to be mad. And I know a lot of you guys were mad at me as well, uh, mainly Jake fans in the comments section, um, for doing what I did. But just, you know, physically assaulting somebody takes it to a whole new level. Uh, just like, for example, like when they came here to my house, they were they were getting up in my face, mainly Sebastian, and I was like, dude, calm down, man. Like, if you want to go, we'll go right here in front of my house. So, of course, like, when he was there, like, getting up in, like, my chest and all that, just kind of pushed him back a little, like, to show him kind of, like, my strength. I'm like, bro, you don't want to actually mess with me because I, I will knock you out if I have the chance and if I need to actually take a swing. So, what ended up happening, like I was saying last night at Wawa, he got up in my face I'm just trying to defuse the situation just so nothing could happen. 
and he took a shot right here at my eye and uh, next thing you know I had a black eye and he took off running and I just I, I would never physically assault somebody just out of the the heat of a moment like the fact that he just came right up to me got mad and just punched me um just shows his true colors it in a way shows jake's true colors of the people he actually hangs out with where they care nothing about about themselves and everything they have going on for them and the fact that he just physically assaulted me is just not cool so uh, if you guys support jake just I, I want you to do me a favor if you support him go over there and tell him not to put seven any more videos because then you're going to be supporting sebastian for actually physical assault which is illegal because not once would I have ever laid my hands on him except when he was here in front of my face and I was just trying to push him off of me. So I, I just want to make this video real quick discussing the situation, discussing the black eye. You guys would know like, oh, now we know why Swift has a black eye or Jeff has a black eye and just, just prove to you guys that I wouldn't really support Jake or any of his friends the fact that they would physically assault somebody like I'll admit, the past couple, like, the weeks, I've been dumb. I've done a lot of dumb things. Things I should have never done. Things I should have never said. And I've apologized for it numerous times. Not once, like I said, would I ever lay my hands on somebody. And the fact that I was physically assaulted and punched in the face, uh, to me, is kind of just a little upsetting, you know. Because I thought I made up with Seb. I thought Seb and I were cool. But the fact that he was willing to get physical and just punch somebody in the face uh, and have the excuse of, well, I've basically, you know, spray painted his car. I've done stupid things like, dude, that stuff just washes off. And I don't like I'm just I'm kind of confused by the situation because like you just don't go up to somebody when they're saying, hey, how you doing? And then just start yelling at them. And punch them in the face. It just, to me, it makes like no sense. Like, did you like, was he put up to this? In my opinion, by Jake. Like, hey, if you ever see Swift, or like, even he probably told any other of his friends. Like, if you ever see Jeff or Swift, uh, in public or whatever, just punch him in the face for all this. Or like, if he ever came back, we're gonna punch him. Like, I don't know. This is why I can't support Jake and or or his friends. I mean, <sighs> I don't know. That's gonna that's gonna wrap up today's video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, for anybody wondering what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go probably take a nap and put some ice on my face just so I can try getting the swelling down. So thank you, Saxon family, for watching this video. Uh, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna peace out and well, peace.